day everyone! For today's video, we're going to study types of fractions. I have here these two illustrations. Let's write the fractions for this illustration. Let's start on the illustration at the left side. Let's write the numerator by counting the shaded parts. Let's count it together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have 8 shaded parts, so that means our numerator is 8. How about the denominator? What is our denominator here? Very good children, it's 9, since we have 9 equal parts. How about the fraction on the right side? Let's count the shaded parts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We have 6 shaded parts, so that means our numerator is 6. How about the denominator? What is the denominator here? That's correct children, it is 4, since we have 4 equal parts. 8 ninths is what we call the proper fraction. When you say proper fraction, it is the fraction where the numerator is smaller than the denominator. Also, the value of the proper fraction is always less than 1. Is that clear? While the fraction on the right side, the 6 fourths, is what we call the improper fraction. When you say improper fraction, it is the fraction where the numerator is bigger than the denominator. Also, the value of the improper fraction is equal or greater than 1. Let's look at the illustration at the top. The first one, as you can see, all the all the parts are shaded, right? So when all the parts are shaded, that means the fraction is 4 fourths. And 4 fourths is equal to 1. Am I right, children? Well, the second illustration, we have two shaded parts. So that means the fraction is 2 fourths. When you combine 4 fourths and 2 fourths, we will have 1 and 2 fourths. So that means 1 and 2 fourths is equal to 6 fourths and 6 fourths is greater than 1. So that means when we say improper fraction, it is equal or greater than 1. Is that clear children? How about if I have this? Let's look at this illustration. Let's write the fraction. In writing the numerator, we need to count the shaded parts. Let's count it together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Since we have 12 shaded parts, our numerator is 12. How about our denominator? What is our denominator here? That's correct! It is 12 because we have 12 equal parts. 12 twelfths is equal to 1, right? Because when the numerator and denominator are the same, that is equal to 1. 12 twelfths is what we call improper fraction. Always remember children, when you say improper fraction, the value of the improper fraction is equal or greater than 1. So for this case, 12 twelfths is equal to 1. So that is improper fraction. Is that clear? How about if we have this? Let's write the fraction. What is the numerator? Let's count the shaded parts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We have 6 shaded parts, so that means our numerator is 6. How about our denominator? What is the denominator? That's correct! The denominator is 10 since we have 10 equal parts. 6 tenths is what we called proper fraction. Always remember, proper fraction 
It is where the numerator is smaller than the denominator. And also, the value of the proper fraction is always less than 1. Why it is less than 1? Because not all the parts are shaded. Is that clear, children? I have this set of fractions. I want you to help me to organize the fractions according to its type. So let's start with the two halves. Two halves is, is it proper or improper? That's correct. It is improper. Since two halves is equal to one, that means it is improper fraction. How about three eighths? Is it proper or improper? Good job, children! It is proper fraction. Why it's proper? Because the numerator is smaller than the denominator. How about 7 fifths? Is it proper or improper? Fantastic! It's improper because it is more than 1 and the numerator is bigger than the denominator. That means it is improper fraction. How about the 4 fourths? Is it proper or improper? Very good children! It is improper fraction because 4 fourths is equal to 1. How about the 1 eighth? Is it proper or improper? Fantastic! It's proper fraction because the numerator is smaller than the denominator. Again, children, when you say proper fraction, it is the fraction where the numerator is smaller than the denominator. And also, the value of the proper fraction is always less than 1. While the improper fraction, it is the fraction where the numerator is bigger than the denominator. And also, the value of the improper fraction is equal or greater than 1. So everybody, I want you to get your drill board. On your drill board, write what type of fraction is this one. Is it proper or improper? The answer is improper fraction. Why? Because it is equal to 1. How about this one, 3 eighths? Is it proper or improper? Good job, children! It is proper fraction. Why? Because the numerator is smaller than the denominator. How about if we have this? 6 tenths. Is it proper or improper? The answer is proper fraction. Why? Because the numerator is smaller than the denominator. How about this one? 9 thirds. Is it proper or improper? The answer is improper fraction. Why improper? Because the numerator is bigger than the denominator and it is more than 1. How about if you have this, 4 sevenths? Is it proper or improper? The answer is proper fraction. Why? Because the numerator is smaller than the denominator. Always remember children, when you say proper fraction, it is the fraction where the numerator is smaller than the denominator. Also, the value of the proper fraction is always less than 1. While the improper fraction, it is the fraction where the numerator is bigger than the denominator. Also, the value of the improper fraction is equal or greater than 1. <laughs> 